What's good, guys? Come here, lads. Look. What's good? What's good? What's good? What's good? All right, so before we start, we have... What is that? We got some chicken tenderloins. That's how they... I think that's how... That's, that's what they call it. Um, and then we got some French toast. French fries. Right. And... Don't eat this, cause this is not nutritional, by the way. And I got some maple syrup. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Theo, man. Back with another video. I'm here with Luke, his boyfriend. And we are doing our first video. We're doing we a little mukbang. bang. Yeah, slash mukbang. Don't touch the food. And if you are new, click that subscribe button below and like this video. Let's get started. You wanna start it, Lass? Oh, it's not? Okay. How do we meet? Um. Take my chain out. Hold up, y'all. That's not capped either. So, basically, how we met was online because I live in Dusty, Delaware, and he lives in beautiful Orlando, Florida. I found him on Instagram, and what happened? Like, we so already commented you on your thing. We are already starting off wrong. Okay. How we met was on Instagram. You know, I had a little following already on Instagram, you know, doing YouTube videos at school. And so, you know, I had a lot of supporters, a little bit of supporters, and he was one of my fans that commented on my that's um, a negative story when I posted myself. That's a negative. I posted a Snapchat video of myself, and he commented on that. So then, after that, what happened? Yes. I wasn't a fan. Let's get that straight, right quick. I mean, I am a fan. I'm always a fan of my baby, but I wasn't yeah. like. Yes, no, he was. He was fine as hell. I mean, what can I say? He's so fine. But, so yes, I commented on his thing, and then he was like, texting me back, and we like, it was like on and off. I was, at the time, <clears throat> this was around April, April 15th? Mm-hmm. I was, was texting like, it don't matter when it was, but I was talking to somebody else, and so, we texted a couple times for like, what, a week? Over the course of like a month, I'd say. No, and then, no, in April, we texted for like a couple times, like, for two weeks, and then we stopped. Yeah. It was like April of 2020. We texted for like a, a little, you know, little key messages back and forth for like two weeks. And then I stopped texting him. I stopped replying because he lived too far. He lived 855 miles away. Don't ask me how I know the exact miles. But he lived 855 miles away. And I, I was telling myself, like, I would never do long distance. I need to see my person every day. But, you know. I was graduating that year. I'm grown. And Ooh. so I was like, hmm, I'll give it a try. You know, I could travel when I want to. I'm grown. I don't have to stay home. I don't gotta ask nobody to go here or there. So then August what? 15? Okay. August 15th came around. August 15th came around and what I said. I think I commented on his um We were just commenting back and forth, but we wasn't being consistent basically. Um so then we were commenting on each other's stories. Then he said something like, you you know you're my bae or something. So then that was like, what the heck? Like, this this kid bold. It was all worth it. And then he said, you know that you mine, right? And so, I don't know, it just seemed bold and, but not even that, cause I've had people say that stuff, but it's just like, I don't know. So I was like, mm. I mean, we just started, so we just started texting and talking a little bit more. Um, yeah. We FaceTimed, well, he was on a trip to Florida, or uh, maybe at your sister's house or something like that. Mm-hmm. And so he told me, and I was like, oh no, I think I said, dang, I see you in my state. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then he was like, yeah, I'm in, in, in what, Naples? Mm-hmm. And I thought, oh, I gotta see you one day, for real, for real. And that's when we FaceTimed that same night. Yeah. But the first time, and I had the video up there. It's like a little snippet of the FaceTime call. Um, that's when we started talking just a little bit more, a little bit more, and a little bit more. I was, y'all know how it is, how you be having some other people lined up. So he was in the line. The behavior that you exhibited was whore-like. The whore jumped out, and then it jumped back in. No, I'm playing. Nah, I'm I'm playing. Playing. when I came around, I changed the game. <laughs> no way. No way. I want to see the receipts. But true love different. 
it wasn't love at first sight. As I met him, as I grew, as we learned more about each other, that's when we started falling really in love. At first, yeah, I was just like, I mean, yeah, he's cute and whatever, but he was two years younger than me. Mm, almost two, right? Almost two, but yeah. yeah. You were born February 22nd. You were out of 2001, I was born May 8th, 2002. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. But I'm, I'm just, I didn't think it was gonna work out either. Plus he's from Orlando, so I feel like he's bougie and all this stuff. Like he would, I thought that he would like, you know, think that he was all that. And in reality, I'm all that. In reality, you know how you said he had people lined up? They be the ones that's low key. Don't got a huge following. They just not on social media like that. They be having them hoes. Mm -mm. See me? I was trying to find. I have followers and all this other stuff. I have followers, a little bit of YouTube views and stuff like that. But in reality, when I go home, I had no friend. I didn't talk to nobody at all. I didn't care about people like that. See, so that's the opposite. Because when I, I just, I was trying to find a love of my life, you know? So I was, I had different people. And I don't recommend this, but. I have multiple people that I was like talking to kind of like just on a like friendly level to see if it would go anywhere because I wanted to find the love of my life and it worked out perfectly. Don't bite the fork, you don't bite your gums. So yeah. Well, he wanted to come see me. I, I want to see him too. So yeah. after we were talking for a while, I'm FaceTiming every day. Since August 15th, I was like, I need to come see you, you know, because I'm tired of FaceTiming. And so, you know, I didn't have a job at the time. I had just graduated. I didn't know what I wanted to do. Like, so I was just chilling at my cousin's house. And um, I was FaceTiming here every day, chilling there every day. And I was like, I'm going to come see you. So I got a job at I applied and got accepted at Taco Bell, but I never went. I quit that job. Yeah, I never was seen him go there. I saw a hat, that's all I was seeing. I had the outfit and everything, but I never went. Quit. Then I worked at, I got hired at McDonald's. I worked there one day, eight hours, and I never went back again. Don't follow what he does. Don't do that, guys. Yeah. You need to stick at it, stay at a job and be consistent. But, you live and you learn. So, long distance really isn't as bad as people think it is. You just gotta, because at the end of the day, your goal is to be living with each other and uh, with each other every day, which that's our goal. I hope by the end of the year. Right. I'm not even eating. All right, let me get one. Okay. Then I finally got a job at Walmart. Oh yeah. And I actually liked that job and I started working. I didn't like it, but you know, it was better than fast food. So, you know, I'm just not graduating, you know, I'm trying to work your way through life. Mm -hmm. I didn't like fast food. Uh, that was my first choice and I said no. And then, so yeah, so then he wanted to fly up and I wanted him to come up. So, Did mind your place was cheap. We went to the biggest, I don't think that's the biggest city, right? No. Is it? We went to New York, the Big Apple, and it was during COVID, so flights were real cheap. It was like, it was like, I think it was like, what, like $30, $40? That's cheap as heck. But, yeah, so I drove up there and picked up for the airport. We got a little hotel room. We only stayed for, it was only two days. It was during Christmas Three days. Time. It was during, nice. It was during Christmas, or right at the beginning, because they were, like, setting up the big Rockefeller tree. I don't know if y'all ever been there. It was November. Yeah, it, but they were they're still setting up for Christmas and stuff. But it was a fun trip. That was fun. I felt, it felt like a, a movie. Everything that happened, I'm talking about we was out late at five in the morning. Mm. We, both of our phones is dead in Manhattan. With all the huge buildings, we couldn't find our way. Because of COVID, they didn't have no, the subways wasn't open. Then we had so, a yeah. bus driver. He didn't even know what he was going because it was his first day of working the buses. So he was like, well, we'll take you somewhere for free. So he like, just, we hopped on the bus. Somebody about some home, like homeless man. Can he like ask us for money or ask us for something? It's a ride. Oh, I guess. that's how it was a ride. So then we got a taxi, but then he asked if we could, cause he helped us to find where we, we needed to go. Yeah. So then we asked, so he asked if we could ride, if he could ride in the taxi with us and we were already paying for it. So it was like, yeah. 
So yeah, yeah like it was. He was in the middle, wasn't he? I think he was in the middle. I think so. It was. It was real awkward. That was a good trip. I mean, we already got past how we met, but so we started going to visit it. And then you see all them trips. If y'all watch his TikTok, go watch yeah. his TikToks. All those flight passes. And so we just been seeing each other since then. Been on the phone. On the phone every day. So every day, all day. And it don't. I mean, you know, you gotta always have room for a long time, but we do. We make room for that. So if y'all want to hear about long distance relationships, cause they not all sweet. Our relationship ain't all sweet. Like we nobody check that. No relationship is easy, especially long distance. Who said it's easy? I said no relationship is easy, especially long distance. But it has its pros and cons. Everything. So everything. I feel like when you're in a long distance relationship, you can just when you're not with each other, it's amazing or it stinks because you can't see each other every day. But then when you see each other, but but that's when all the like serious conversations happen and when you discuss the serious stuff. But then when you see each other, it's like a movie. And you don't argue, you just have fun every day. And then you get to look and see them in real life and they're so pretty. Mm. Mm. He's so fun. But, and also you're gonna have arguments. You're gonna have disagreements. You're gonna want something and they're gonna want something else, but you gotta compromise. That's the number one thing in a relationship, compromise. That's okay. how you get through it. Per. Mr. Marriage Counselor. And also let us know because we wanna still make content for y'all, but we don't know how to do it with long distance. So I don't know if y'all want like vlogs or like separately. And then when we get all together, when we get together, we just record together until we move in or what? We're gonna get it done. We're gonna get it together. And we finna. We're gonna figure it out. But let us know what y'all want. Is that it? I don't know. Is that it, Jit? <clears throat> what else? It's gonna be something else. So, this is a quick video, short and sweet. I don't know. We didn't really. It wasn't all that, literally. But we got more videos coming. It's gonna be better. I mean, we, I like story times, though. So, we could definitely do story times. Um, if y'all got any other questions. I don't know, I think that's everything. I think I'm gonna make a post on Instagram or TikTok. I might make a TikTok video or comment some questions under this video that we can do together, like a couple's Q&A or spicy Q&A. And we are gonna do like, probably a spicy truth or dare. Truth or dare? Yes. All right. But with that being said, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and follow yeah. me on Instagram. You could follow me on Instagram if y'all want. It's L A S dot zero one. But my Instagram poop, I don't be posting on it. Don't expect no content on my Instagram. I'm not big on social media. Not content At all. on my Instagram. This man don't post. This man don't do nothing. His TikTok name is Apple user one eight two zero zero five six eight nine ten ten eleven twelve thirteen. That's his all I all I use it for is just looking at his TikTok. So just follow me on TikTok because he will be posted on there. Yeah. Right. That's another video. It was nice to meet y'all finally. But that's it for the video. Thanks for watching and yeah. Ow.